Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. In today's video, I will be talking about one of your other clinical skills. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So it just gives me a lot of motivation to keep making more videos for you, okay? Uh, and hopefully they're, they're helping you in, in preparation for your NMC OSCE exam. So in today's video, I will be talking about one of your another clinical skill, which is administration of inhaled medication. So lots of you have been asking me to do this skill on YouTube. So I am going to talk you through this skill today. So in today's video, I will be talking you, talking you through how to do uh, step by step what steps you need to do uh, to complete this station and also my top tips at the end so let's get started so we're talking about administration of inhaled medication which is a, a, which, a which is a clinical skill in your exam and the skill is 12 minutes long so what do you have to do so you're going to have to administer inhaler using a spacer device okay so they give you a spacer device and you have to use that with your inhaler to give this medication to this inhaler to your patient okay so all your equipment is already ready and clean and ready to use okay and of course at the end because you're giving a medication so you have to document the administration of your inhaler uh, accurately in your uh, in your prescription chart okay so that's what they give you uh, so on my next screen you will see a scenario mark chart okay so you might get a mark chart you might get a simple prescription but this is just one of the examples you will have some kind of prescription uh, for your patient to do your ID check, allergy check, and also to look for the validity of the prescription. So here I've got a on your screen a scenario mark chart, okay, which tells you the instructions about giving an inhaler to your patient and your due date and time is due at. Okay, so next screen, uh, it will give you again, it's just showing you inside of the mark chart. One side is your ID details your allergy details because you have to check your id and allergy in real time against this documentation in your exam whether it's mark chart whether it's a simple prescription but you still have to check that against it uh, and uh, <clears throat> Obviously, uh, if you see it, there is also on the right hand side is, is prescribed as a stat dose, which is your inhaler. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, so, uh, how are we going to do it step by step? So, that's what you get given either a mark chart, either a simple prescription, but some kind of prescription for this inhaler. So, let's, uh, let's get started. So, we got 12 minutes, and then we're going to do obviously start the same way like in any other station, check the scene safety, draw the curtain explain the procedure to the patient and gain consent that's really really important and then we're going to clean our hands using uh, world health organization guidance <clears throat> so we all know that next we're going to go ahead and check check our patient id details and allergy status if if your patient scenario is in hospital and your patient is wearing wristbands then check against the wristband and the allergy band if your patient is scenario set in community then just check a uh, verbal check against your documentation so it's really important that you check these details with your patient and if they're wearing a wristband and the allergy band check that against those bands and also against your prescription if they are not wearing allergy band and uh, name band then just it's a verbal check against your prescription chart okay but you need to make sure you check this correctly in real time against your prescription next thing is read validity of the prescription so that's really important because we're giving a drug so we got to do all the uh, uh, six rights which is the validity of the prescription as well so we need to check the validity of the prescription so read your prescription clearly uh, for your medication and verbalize that this is a valid prescription then you're going to clean your hands and start assembling your equipment so there is no a lot of equipment you just need a inhaler obviously and then you also need your spacer so before we can start putting it together i think one thing we should do always remember to do is check that this is a uh, same drug 
uh, as our prescription and check the expiry date on the drug, name on the drug loudly so your examiner can hear it and then go again, again check against your prescription chart to confirm that this is the drug which is prescribed for you to give. Okay, so the technique. Now we're going to ask the patient to sit in upright position. Okay, so then we're going to remove the mouthpiece from cover from the inhaler and give a shake for two to five seconds. Then we're going to attach the inhaler to our spacer device uh, into the end of the spacer device. And then we're going to ask the patient to exhale completely. Okay, once they have exhaled completely, then they're going to grasp the, ask them, ask the patient to uh, uh, grasp the mouthpiece of the spacer with their teeth and lips and make a good seal. <clears throat> Once they have made a good seal, ask the patient to uh, tip their head slightly back and start breathing slowly and deeply through the mouth okay and with spaces still in their mouth and then at that stage once they start breathing uh, slowly and deeply you press for the first dose on your canister okay once you press the first dose then you can ask the patient to use tidal breathing which is a continuous breathing method so ask the patient to breathe in and out uh, steadily uh, with spaces still in their mouth for five times once they have uh, done that, then you take the inhale, uh, the spacer out and ask them to exhale uh, using purse lips, okay? And once you have done that, and then if you're written for second puff, then you got to repeat the same instructions again, but you got to make sure that you uh, wait for 30 to 60 seconds between uh, inhalation, if you're giving second puff of the same medication, which will be the case in your OSCE exam, but in clinical practice if the patient will be taking a different medication then they should wait uh, two to three minutes between different medications but in your OSCE exam it will be the same medication so if you have asked to give the another puff then you should wait 30 to 60 seconds once you have completed the procedure and you given your second dose with the same instructions like i talked you through before now you can just wear your gloves and then clean the spacer device from uh, and detach it from the inhaler and then clean it from top towards the mouthpiece with a cleaner wipe okay once you have done that and then you can take your gloves off clean your hands and then you going to with your hand gel and then make sure don't forget to date and sign the drug administration record and then uh, at the end just reassure your patient <clears throat> and then you are going to uh, uh, you can give the spacer device you can verbalize i will give this spacer device to the patient uh, to carry on using it and then you are going to end the station so okay then there comes the five top tips the first tip is that make sure that you check the id check correctly and allergy check correctly in real time with your patient again patient against your prescription chart and remember your patient is normally a mannequin okay so check that against your prescription chart in real time second top tip is uh, making sure you check the validity of the prescription so you read the prescription fully and uh, and confirm and verbalize that this is a valid prescription so believe it or not these these are the most common fails uh, tip number three is making sure that you check the name of the drug and expiry date very very clearly uh, and then check that against uh, your prescription that is the same drug which has been prescribed is the drug what is in your hand and the expiry date so that's important okay so tip number four is making sure you learn your instructions okay how to give uh, the inhaler correctly and what instructions you will be giving to your mannequin and of course if Sasser doesn't understand anything uh, examiner will ask you further question okay so make sure you fully know how to give an inhaler using a spacer device and obviously you, you can make sure that you verbalize clearly that you are using continuous breathing method okay tip number five is do not forget to sign and date for your given drug at the end to complete your documentation to say that you have given this drug correctly so that's really really important so those were my five top tips okay so if you like the video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com i will soon be back with another video for you and bye for now